hi everyone welcome back to a new video today i'm going to create a large bowl using this turbulent water mold from molds and shapes and um, combining it with a larger mold from molds and shapes the 35 centimeter round disc mold and i will use some color shift powder and some black resin and then the bowl will look like this but with another color shift pigment in the middle so stay tuned and um, i hope this video will help you i'm going to show you every single step this is the pigment i'm going to use it is the ztf hypershift pigment from Deepon. it's a color shift pigment um, with a shift from brown gold to pink here you can see the pink color um, it's because of the the light here in the room that you only see the the pink um, but later on or um, in a few minutes i'm trying to to show you the the brown part or the golden brown part of this pigment so i'm going to use a um, eye, an eyeshadow brush and um, then we'll paint this turbulent water mold here Let me try to show you this color shift effect. I think you can see it here a little bit. It's a brown gold turning to pink. It's not so easy to see here, um, but you will get a better idea of this color shift pigment later on. Um, but I really like this pigment. It's very similar to the Wildfire um, Hypershift pigment from Deepon. From my point of view, the best um, background color for um, color shift pigments is black. I'm going to use um, the black uh, paste from a Depoxy and the Depoxy resin, the 700, um, which is a low viscosity resin and one of my um, standard resins I, I'm using for many different, um, many different projects. As you can see, as always, I'm going to use my torch to remove um, the air bubbles and flip the, the mold a little bit um, to give the air bubbles the chance to get to the surface. And then I will use um, some isopropanol um, sp or spraying isopropanol um, onto the surface to remove, um, to remove um, all of the air bubbles that are left. Um, it's isopropanol, which I bought from the epoxy in Germany, and then we have to wait 24 hours and can do the next step. It's the next day and you see our resin is fully cured and now we can demold it. And um, due to the light conditions here, you will only see the, the pink part of this color sh shift pigment here. You get an idea that there will be or that there is this brown golden shift. Um, but I really like the pink, pink part too. So um, later on you will see the color shift much better. So um, there are sharp edges and I'm going to remove the sharp edges to not damage my large disc mold um, in a few minutes um, and to prevent um, air bubbles under this piece here when I put it into the resin um, which I will pour into the large mold. This is the 35 centimeters um, large disc mold from Molds and Shapes. I'm not sure, but I think it's the largest mold from Molds and Shapes. And I'm going to use the this color shift piece as um, the center of the of the bowl. Um, but first, we're going to pour um, a black layer with the 700 resin from um, Depoxy. 
and then we will put the piece into the middle into the center of um, this mold um, and yeah so that's it then we have to wait 24 hours to um, let the resin cure and then we can do the next step So be careful when you put um, some pieces of resin or whatever into resin because um, there can be air under your resin piece and then there will be holes um, in your resin later on um, on on the bottom of your of your of your tray or your um, your bowl. So be careful and uh, let it slide down very very slowly and um, then move it a little bit to remove the air bubbles and usually this is um, going to work very well. I'm trying to get the perfect position here in the center of this large mold. It's not that easy and um, sometimes this resin part um, floats a little bit and uh, moves to uh, one side. But um, I think this, this looks okay. We jump to the next day. You see there's different light and it's, it's looking much more pink. Everything is cured. And the next step is that we will pour a clear layer. You see I already mixed up my resin. It's the 700 resin from Depoxy, but you can of course you also use another resin um, like a top coat or whatever, everything you like. Um, but with this 700 um, resin or the 2K700 from Depoxy, it's working very well. Um, so. I'm adding here this clear layer and that's it for today. Then we have again <laughs> to wait for uh, 24 hours um, to let the resin cure. And then I'm going to show you how to um, create the bowl using hot water. You see it's the next day and we are in the kitchen. Um, this is hot water and we need hot water to make the resin piece bendy again. Um, here you see everything looks very nice, very fine and now you can see this brown golden color of this um, color shift um, resin piece in, in the center and um, you will see that um, the resin will get very bendy, uh, very flexible um, in the hot water and then we can, can bring it into the shape of a bowl. It will take a few minutes but you see that it's already getting bendy and um, yeah, very flexible and I will use um, tape to bring it into the shape I like. Um, you can of course use a plastic bowl or whatever to put your resin piece um, in and to bring it into a bowl shape or whatever you like. I will use tape because I don't want to have um, um, yeah, a normal bowl but with a um, special shape. So you see it's, it's getting very bendy um, but we need a few more seconds and in the meantime I will measure the temperature of the water but because I have no idea um, what the temperature is um, it's it's hot it's um, very uh, it doesn't feel very nice uh, for the fingers so it's I would say it's around 45 degrees or something like this maybe a little bit more uh, you see it's getting up to 
almost 50 degrees Celsius. So this is enough to, um, to make your um, resin piece flexible again uh, within a few minutes and then we can bring it into the bowl shape and I'm going to show you how to do this with, um, with tape. So we switch to the other side <laughs> and that you see I have a towel here um, to dry the resin piece because tape and water is not a good idea. Um, we need to hurry a little bit because the um, resin piece will start to get hard again and will be inflexible after a few minutes. Um, and usually it's much easier if you have a second person with you to stabilize the form um, of or the shape of the um, of the resin piece and then you can you can um, attach the the tape but I have to do it on my own here um, in this case You will see I will reattach um, <laughs> the tape again and again because I'm not very happy with the shape in the beginning. Um, but yeah, so you see you can um, you can remove it and attach it or reattach it um, several times and um, yeah to so you have the the opportunity or the possibility to bring it into the shape you like. You see, it worked well, and now we have a, um, a bowl shape, and now we have to wait a few hours. Um, I would recommend 12 hours at least um, to be sure that everything um, will stay in this shape. It's the next day, we are back at my web workplace, you see. Um, everything worked well, um, the bowl stayed in, in its shape, but there are... Um, there are parts of the of the tape left on the bowl and now we're going to remove them with isopropanol. That's no problem um, that there are some sticky parts here. Um, just spray a little bit of isopropanol, wait a few seconds and then you can remove it with a napkin or whatever. And um, I will speed up this process in a few seconds because it takes a bit of time, um, but it's no problem after all. So um, maybe I need another tape or so, but um, yeah, it's no problem to remove um, to remove the residual tape parts. You see. You see the tape is gone, it looks good, and as a next step we will remove the sharp edges. I will speed up the process in a few seconds because this bowl is very large and removing the sharp edges will take a while um, but I promised you to show you every single step so it is important to remove sharp edges because otherwise you could cut yourself or cut your fingers um, because these edges are, very, are super super sharp um, and you can hurt yourself very easily.
So there's a little bit of the tape left. I'm going to remove it with isopropanol. And as a last step, I will use a brown touch-up pen to um, paint the, the edges in brown bronze color. Um, I will speed up this process here because it, it will take a while. I will show you the final result in a few seconds. Um, I hope you liked the video and it was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. If you would like to buy the molds, check out the website for molds and shapes. Um, they have so many different fantastic uh, molds in a very, very high quality. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you like the result and see you for my next videos. Bye bye.